Welcome back for match one. This is Old Man Pool. MTGO favors us, as always. Uh, this hand is pretty reasonable. I uh, do need to find some lands. I think I'm going to keep with this. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. No island. Hmm. I think that changes it to a mulligan, actually. There's a real chance this deck just doesn't, or this hand doesn't do very much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna find something a little better. Ugh. I want also mulligan. This hand's pretty bad, too. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I need to find exactly an island, though. Yeah. We get two draws, three before it gets really bad. Well, one of those being a scry. I'm gonna keep and really pray there's an island on top. I hate going to five. It's like a lot of times when there's just no way to come back. Now yeah, we are rewarded. That on top. Okay. Well, at least the hand won't be absolutely abysmal. We can play the spell Weaver Eternal. We still want to find another land, pretty much ASAP, but we can do something. Okay, opponent's playing red. Opponent mulligan as well, and he bottomed, so it's possible he's got a pretty clunky draw. Oh, it's possible he just had like enough lands and was happy to put another one on the bottom too. Only showing one color for now. Kenra. Okay. Not bad. Uh, I guess we could sacrifice and swing. That seems terrible. <laughs> I guess we'll just pass. This was a pretty like somber keep so and we found an island immediately so we can't be that unhappy well, it looks like his hands may be pretty good or at least pretty reasonable ooh magma spray okay yeah that's pretty aggressive aerial guides are not the best um defensive cards hmm Rough. Okay, well. Here she's the Grasping Dunes. I think we need the land, though. Yeah, this may, may be a quick game one here. Yeah, yeah. Not to be done about it, unfortunately. Not to be done. And maybe I should have mold to five. It feels like it's very rare that you win off a of mold to five. You have to kind of you have to get really lucky, and even then, it's sometimes not enough. All right, I think that's enough for me to call it. Yeah, let's go to game two. We didn't show my opponent very much, and I think we have a chance at still taking the next two matches. My opponent looks very low to the ground, very aggressive though. We'll have to. Sideboard, um, sideboard. What's the word? Appropriately. Don't love Slitherblade. You can bring in Reed Stalker. Maybe is a little bit more of a aggressive card. Bloodwater still seems okay. Oh, we're not separated anymore. Sunset Pyramid seems slow. I like our counter spells, even though they're a little bit slow. We can stick a threat and then start countering things. That feels pretty good. Maybe we cut one. Kind of bad if we have them in multiples. Maybe we cut initiate. Street soccer feels so much worse. But it is nice if we can kind of sneak in a kill on one of my opponent's cards. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the cancel. I think I'd rather have countervailing wins um, with the ominous sphinx. Scry in general. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if I like Street soccer. Okay. We're a little bit lower to the ground. Hopefully, we just have a little bit better of a draw here. Would like to play first. <laughs> you have to mulligan this. My opponent's aggressive, he'll just run over us. Yeah, this hand's better. My opponent mulligan too, I guess. Keep. My opponent mulligan down to five. We gotta put that on the bottom at least. Alright, well, we do have two Spellweaver Eternals. We're a little bit at the mercy of the draw, but I put mold to five, go top. Soul Scar Mating isn't bad. <laughs> a lot of spell reaver journals. 
But we have colors. We can do things. Yeah, I'll just take it. You got a spell, that's fine. Would be not unhappy to like never see another land for the rest of the game, but at least we've we've got playable cards. No one expects the triple spell we were eternal offensive. No one. No play. So if we swing in, we're risking a prowess trigger. We do get the afflict. He might just be holding it back because he needs to block. I think we go for it. If he's got a, a spell, even if it's like mag we have some magma spray proud used previously. A little hard to tell. If we're just trading here, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, he's done. got some fire. Okay. I think it's a, a two for one there. Maybe that was their aggressive attack, but. We have an even initiate now. I did get the open fire out of his hand, but yeah, that was. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that was loose. Again, it looks really good if my opponent doesn't have anything. Him having to play the Sand Strangler now is nice. Ooh. Well, let's attack with our Aven Initiate. Don't think I'm going to steal the Sand Strangler. But that is a good draw. I'll take something. Hopefully something big and good. Play something for five. Find a reward. Okay, yeah. I would like to be able to steal that, but it doesn't work that way. Okay, we'll take our hit. And draw. Conjuring blow. The question is, we want to take the 3-3 three, three right now, or just kill it and hope he draws something better. If we kill this, we're on the beat down, so we can take something. Yeah, I think we can do better in a 3-3, honestly, even against this deck, which is kind of aggressive. That might be kind of a curve topper for him, but I think we can do better. Oh, yeah, I could have gotten for one more point of damage there. That was a mistake for sure. Prowess. Prowess is bad. Ooh, Ruins is an interesting one. So I'm not gonna swing here. He could he only has one card back, but I think the two two or the two one matters a little bit more. If we have aerial guide, we're gonna get in with it every turn anyway. Hey, we could have my opponent ten. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Missing that prowess trigger was pretty pretty loose. Bone slapper. Okay. We may just take that. We swing for four here. We take him to seven. Next turn, we can swing for lethal unless he's got something, because I can make those two fly, and then this will get in for two at least. That's just... Man, I missed the prowess again. Oh, well. It's still going to be lethal, I think. But yeah, that... The sketchy plays. The sketchy plays. Because then we could have him dead even if he has a removal spell. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bite us. Okay, well, sloppy play with prowess there, but we managed to managed to sneak that game. Uh now we're definitely on the defensive though. I think I'm going to in the Reed Stalker in this case. Yeah, okay. I think that's that's the deck. Let's hope we can beat his Onslaught here. That's been a fast game. Ooh, cool. Finally a hand we can keep and we're happy about. I'm going to keep this. My opponent Mulligan down to six for the third time in a row. Did keep it six. And put a crown bottom. It's funny, we've been both very plagued by mulligans this game. Eh? 
So if he's placed something I can Chandra's defeat here, I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Then we'll be able to get it back with Blood Water Entity in a couple of turns. Can I play this? Oh, it's black. <laughs> Details. Details. That's fine. Uh, hmm. I think I want to keep my lands. I could just pitch Chandra's defeat and get that back by, with the entity for the Blood Rage Brawler, I mean. Or we could pitch like an Ominous Sphinx. I think the defeat is going to be great against my opponent. I can use it twice. Maybe we'll pitch the wins. I'd rather have the Sphinx than the wins. And there's a reasonable chance we'll just get it back regardless next turn with the Bloodwater Entity. Ooh, Ruin Rat. Well, that does interact with the Brawler pretty well. But at least we can use the, the Brawler to uh, pull my opponent off for a minute. And yeah, let's play the Entity, get back the wins. Opponent knows about it, but can't do too much about it. Oh, it's on top of your library. I forget that it's not a it's true card advantage. That's actually, you probably didn't want to actually put that on back. Yeah, all right. Should have read that card a little bit more carefully. We're just gonna like cycle the next turn. It's kind of awkward. Edifice of Authority, and that's a good one. Yeah, actually we're just gonna like cycle this for a land. Ooh. The misplays. I think you're still gonna do it though. It's embarrassing, but it is correct. Well, it actually doesn't change things too much. We wouldn't have been able to play anything. We could have cycled the floodwaters. Maybe we would have done that. Okay, assuming he's gonna get rid of the entity. Fine. Oh, just pass. Our hand is full gas. We just need to find a couple of lands. Um, we have Chandra's Defeat, which we can use on something like that. Now there's another entity. We could just get the Chandra's Defeat back on top. And then cycle away the Floodwaters and keep it up. Yeah, seems okay. I think that is a great card. Yes, we would like to use the ability, even though it keeps us from drawing lands. My opponent's not really in the position to go on the offensive, so getting just good premium removal, I think, will keep him down even further. Play. Let's go ahead and cycle this. Cool. Like me a land as much as the next fellow. And we'll swing for two here. I imagine he taps down one of the entities. Uh, man, the fact you don't draw that does make that worse. Torment of Venom, okay. Uh, we'll lose three life, I think that's fine. That'll slow us down some. We have Ominous Sphinx and Reed Stalker as we get up in mana though. We also can use the Javeliner to kill off the Ruin Rat and start getting in. That might be pretty good too. Yeah, that actually might be the play next turn. You can, when he dies, you can exile a card from the graveyard. I don't really care. Oh, we can also play the Ominous Sphinx. Eh, I think I just like unlocking the, the Brawler. Now, we were a little bit slow out of the gate. My opponent had a mulligan though, and he's drawn more lands than he would have liked. Maybe because like floodwaters. I don't even know. Alright, looks like. Okay, and 
he'll tap down the brawler. And get for two again. Lots of swinging for two out there. So he knows I do have a Chandra's defeat, but if he finds a threat, he, I mean, it's going to kill something. And I don't know if he can wait forever to find like a small thing and then a big thing. Here's the archer. Okay, we don't have anything that's going to interact immediately, so let's just go ahead and start to swing, see if he wants to tap down, nothing. That was probably a misclick. I wonder if he has like Torment of Venom again, what else do we have for four? We have Electrify, hmm. could have a couple of things. I don't think there's anything that really gets us with so you have like Instructable on Oops. Oops, well, no, he's got one card. I'm not sure what he could have. I guess the plus one, plus, so first strike's pretty good. But even that's not the end of the world. Um, I think I'm just going to trade for these two, and I think that's okay. I think I'd rather keep Chandra's defeat for a bigger, scarier thread. And we'll play our... Ominous Sphinx here. So he does have the uh, Sand Strangler, which would be a great draw, but it doesn't kill off the Sphinx at least. Four Minotaur. Okay, yeah, we'll kill that. So yeah, he must have just missed the end of his trigger. It's easy to do. for five. I don't see a real realistic way we lose this game at this point. We have three threats on the board. He's got nothing in hand. Um, let's play the Moloch. And we have Lethal Null. Oh no, it's not quite. We need another spell. But opponent concedes. He drew a lot of lands. So that was pretty bad. Like... I think he had a pretty reasonable draw, but he just drew a bajillion and he had a mulligan, so. All right, we're happy to mize game one there. I think my opponent, yeah, got unlucky, but happy to pick up the win. See you guys shortly for match two.